Hello, how are you? Uh, shall we study Bible together? Um, as you know, the uh, last Sunday was the day of the uh, Pentecost, and um, uh, now the Pentecost is in, it is very important day for the uh, uh, Christianity. Um, you know that the, there are several days uh, we celebrate. Uh, one is Christmas and the Easter, and then probably the Pentecost, the day of Pentecost, is probably uh, uh, you know very important uh, after other events, uh, the celebration. But nevertheless, uh, the today we like to study about the day of Pentecost. Uh, now, what is a Pentecost? Now, the word Penta, which means in the, uh, uh, initially in the Greek word means five, and uh, it is uh, 50 days after. The, uh, 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 the, the Passover uh, celebration and that's called the day of Pentecost and um, what happened was that uh, when Jesus uh, went up on the cross and uh, uh, on the uh, day of uh, Passover uh, then, which, which we call now the Easter and then the, uh, three days later uh, he uh, uh, resurrected and after that uh, about four, uh, well, uh, after the 40 days he uh, he just walked around the earth and then there are a thousand of people including 12 disciples uh, they eyewitness uh, Jesus uh, resurrected Jesus and then Jesus told uh, his disciple that uh, he, uh, you know uh, very soon uh, there will be uh, the Holy Spirit will uh, descend and so the Pentecost is really uh, day the Holy Spirit uh, descent and um, um, as the Holy Spirit uh, reside in each Christian that, that is uh, that meant that uh, that is a day the uh, the church started so it is it is a birthday of uh, all the churches and so that is a day of the Pentecost um, maybe we can read from the uh, first I like to explain about what is the Pentecost probably I know that most of you knew but then uh, just to briefly uh, remind us uh, what it was a Pentecost and uh, the, after that I like to uh, uh, explain about what happens after Pentecost and especially uh, from the book of Romans uh, chapter 8 and uh, I like to uh, explain about uh, what happens after Pentecost so the first uh, let's take a look at uh, act chapter 1 uh, verse 4 and 5 uh, shall we read while he was with them he declared do not leave Jerusalem but wait there for what my father promised which you heard about from me for John's baptist uh, for John baptized with water but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now so what happened was that uh, Jesus told his uh, disciple and plus uh, many other uh, uh, people that uh, you know just stay in the Jerusalem and because uh, pretty soon there will be a Holy Spirit uh, uh, come down and going to uh, 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 you know stay with them, and then the verse eight of the chapter one in a uh, uh, act uh, that Jesus said that what will happens after you receive uh, Holy Spirit. Uh, let me read uh, verse uh, eight. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witness in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the farthest part of the earth uh, now Jesus uh, told uh, the you know his believers their you know, followers that um, when the Holy Spirit comes uh, that they will receive power and uh, they will be the witness of Jesus now I know there are some uh, organizations uh, religious organizations called uh, Jehovah witness but the Bible said uh, we will be the Jesus witness and um, uh, we will go to uh, different places and then witness Jesus uh, we're gonna uh, proclaim what he did and we're gonna uh, tell people about Jesus so Jesus said when the Holy Spirit comes uh, that you will be my witness and sure enough the day of Pentecost which is 50 days after uh, Passover uh, that the, the, his disciples and then his believers was uh, gathered at the same location in Jerusalem and so that is start from the chapter 
2 of the uh, book of Acts. Uh, let's read that, the verse one and, uh, chapter 2 of the verse 1 and 4. Now, when the day of Pentecost had come, they were all together in one place. Suddenly, a sound like a violent wind blowing uh, came from the heaven and filled the entire house where they were sitting. And tongues uh, splitting uh, out like a fire appeared to them and came to the rest on each one of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and they began to speak in another languages as the Spirit enabled them. Uh, now what happened was that when the Holy Spirit came down the day of the Pentecost and it was a loud noise like a huge uh, storm like a noise <laughs> and then each uh, uh, believer the, uh, the like a fire and the, 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 the Holy Spirit uh, came down each one, one of them and then uh, as the Holy Spirit uh, filled them they, uh, they start to speak uh, another uh, language, another uh, uh, you know, a country's language and that's what happens and that is the day of the Pentecost as the Holy Spirit uh, filled people and they start to speak another country's uh, existing language and that's what happens. Now that is the day of the Pentecost uh, so it is, a, it is a day that our church started and then the, from now on, uh, from, from that day, the, uh, if you believe Jesus uh, as your Savior, when you become a Christian, that you will uh, fill with the Holy Spirit, I mean Holy Spirit, Spirit going to reside with you and uh, immediately you will be baptized by Holy Spirit. And so that's a wonderful thing. And uh, you know, I have met thousands of Christians in my life. And um, as a fact, I had a chance to uh, share gospel to many also. And uh, as I'm sharing the gospel, uh, many people accept Jesus as their savior uh, right in front of me. And uh, many cases, I will say, uh, they they become very emotional. That after they uh, uh, receive the Holy Spirit, they 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 some of them cry. And for my my own experience, that uh, when I became Christian, um, I have I kind of a, I felt really peaceful. I I feel like I know I'm saved, and um, uh, I I feel really really. Uh, peaceful at the time and uh, later on I realized that moment I was baptized by Holy Spirit and the whole things changed in my life uh, so the uh, day of the Pentecost uh, is a wonderful thing the Holy Spirit now the God uh, live within us and that happens uh, after you become a Christian however there's one I shouldn't say problem, but one issue with it. Uh, what that is, when the Holy Spirit comes down to you, when you become a Christian, the, uh, it was a wonderful thing, but then, however, at the same time, you realized you still have the old yourself, and now you have, you have a new, uh, 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 new person, which means it's almost like a dual uh, personality kind of, uh, you know, probably uh, if you're a Christian watching this video, probably you're laughing at me because you probably knew what I'm talking about. Um, you know, when you become a Christian, the part of us saying, oh, I'd like to be holy and I'd like to follow Jesus and I'd like to be, a, a, you, know, a, you know, a nice, uh, godly person, but at the same time, that we still have sinful nature that, uh, you know, like there's a fight between uh, old us and the new us, sort of the old me and new me. And um, uh, now, so I'm gonna, let me explain from the uh, book of Romans, uh, mostly from chapter 8, but I'm going to start from the last uh, verse of the chapter 7, which is uh, chapter 7. Uh, 25, uh, let me read uh, what the Bible said, uh, what happens after uh, you received the Holy Spirit. In the Romans chapter 7, uh, verse 25. Thanks be to God through Jesus Christ our Lord. So then, I myself serve the law of God with my mind, but 
with my flesh I serve the law of sin. So what happened is that when the Holy Spirit uh, came down and now the, uh, live uh, within you, uh, that is wonderful things. But because of, for the first time you realize that uh, Holy God now is with you, you will see yourself is in unholy part of you. Uh, now, uh, here in the verse uh, 25 and chapter 7 alone, it indicates that uh, in mind you wanted to serve God, but at the flesh, uh, that you still realize that you belong to sin sinful world. Now, what is the flesh? Flesh is here. Uh, it is a physical uh, body, and but then uh, the, the the reason uh, we say flesh instead of saying uh, uh, body, uh, because of the flesh, including the uh, our physical bud, uh, body uh, uh, desire, such as our 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 body wanted to eat a lot and wanted to make ourselves look good and stuff. Uh, so including those desire that uh, we call flesh. And uh, that is the kind of term and the word we use in the theology. And so uh, we realize that we have a flesh and we have, we still have a flesh and we still have, uh, uh, we, now we have a new spirit. And then the flesh, uh, is, uh, it came from our parents, you know, our old, you know, self, our, our physical body. You know, this body still came from our mother and father, and our mother and father, uh, their physical body um, came, in, in, well, it was initially came from Adam and Eve, so our flesh is really corrupted. It's still uh, in sinful stage, and that's why, even though we have eternal life right uh, now, uh, that we have to get rid of uh, our uh, unclean physical uh, body and um, uh, for Christians we don't die but we have to get rid of our old uh, physical body and our uh, physical uh, our our flesh uh, uh, you know uh, going to be a dust back to dust but in the, um, until then we live inside of this uh, unclean crafted uh, flesh and so that's all all of a sudden if you become when you become a Christian uh, and the Holy Spirit will come down and then going to live with you but you're going to have a conflict between your flesh, uh, uh, flesh your uh, earthly desire uh, and then your uh, desire to serve God now however uh, even that's truly happen and then some of you may even Christian uh, you, 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 you are capable to commit the sin still but then you have to understand all our sins are all forgiven. Uh, our our past sin, our present sin, and our future sins. So no matter what happens, uh, even though you have a conflict between your flesh and your spirit, uh, your Holy Spirit, uh, but then no matter what, you are saved. Uh, the uh, it, uh, you, you you have a security of your faith. Uh, you will be. Uh, 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 you are uh, children of God, and uh, you are you have eternal life, and uh, that's for sure thing. So in the verse uh, chapter eight, verse one to uh, the book of Rome, explain that part. Uh, let me read uh, chapter eight, verse one and two. There is therefore now or oh, now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. For the law of the life-giving Spirit in Christ Jesus has set you free from the law of the sin and death. So, it is there's no condemnations. Uh, we we are all set free from all sin, even though our flesh still potentially uh, 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 commit the sin. We, which is Christian. We, when you become a Christian. Uh, you have a, you start to have a conflict between your flesh and uh, uh, your God's Holy Spirit, and uh, quite often uh, people sometimes uh, 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 how I say commit the sin, but never forget you're all, all, already saved. Uh, your your salvation, uh, you will not lose your salvation. You you are saved, and so that's a sure thing. In the chapter verse one and two, and uh, chapter eight of the Rome. Now all this 
because it's not your mer uh, because of your deed because of the Jesus uh, uh, deed the, what he did was uh, in case of Jesus uh, he is God himself the word of God now uh, went into the uh, physical human body uh, the uh, God used uh, the virgin girl named Mary and then the Mary's physical body that Jesus uh, 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 went in so Jesus is in a way 100% God yes but he is also 100% human like we are and because of he's a human he, he said himself with the son of man uh, the, the Jesus is a very unique uh, a person and because of he became like us that uh, and he had a physical uh, flesh uh, he went up the cross and he represent because of Jesus is 100% man also uh, that he can represent us and as we trust it in Jesus he's a, as a man he was totally obedient to God and to the, his death and then he resurrected as the first time in the entire history in the uh, uh, entire God's work that uh, the, 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 the human now uh, went up to the heaven and so Jesus made the way to the heaven and to the God's presence and then people who really trust in Jesus and, and then we become a follower of him and after that uh, everybody who believe in Jesus can go to heaven and that's what the situation is so all this the hour the Holy Spirit came down and uh, live with us and we're cleansed and uh, even though we have a conflict between flesh and the spirit uh, but uh, we're saved because of what Jesus did and um, uh, that's what the verse 3 and 4 let me read after this for God achieved what the law could not do because it was weakened through the flesh by sending his own son in the likeness of the sinful flesh and concerning sin he condemned sin in flesh so that the righteous requirement of the law may be fulfilled in us who do not walk according to the flesh but according to the spirit so that's the very special, it's not because of what we did, but because of what Jesus did that uh, we, are, we are saved, we have eternal life, and we're considered to be righteous, and, uh, but at the same time, uh, we still have to kind of, uh, uh, fight against our flesh, fleshly desire, and then uh, uh, there will be a conflict between the, our flesh and uh, uh, the Holy Spirit uh, within us. And then uh, the uh, Bible revealed to us in verse uh, 5 and 6, we still have a conflict in, uh, uh, f between us, uh, between flesh and the spirit. Let me read in verse 5 and 6. For those who live according to the flesh have their outlook sh uh, uh, shaped by the things of the flesh. But those who live according to the spirit have their outlook shaped by the things of the spirit. For the outlook of the flesh is death, but the outlook of the uh, spirit is life and peace. Um, so, you know, when you become a Christian, that is our current conditions. Um, we become a Christian, and from the since the day of the Pentecost, uh, the Holy Spirit will come down and live with you, and you will be baptized by Holy Spirit at the moment you uh, 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 believe in Jesus as your Savior. Uh, and that's a wonderful thing, but because of now the God's presence, the Holy God is now with you, uh, your flesh part, your old self is still there. And, uh, uh, you know, if you really try to, if you still live with your fleshly world, uh, that is really not good because you're not really glorifying God at all. You will not lose your salvation even though, but it's not really a, 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 a nice thing to do because you're going to make your spirit, uh, uh, make spirit sad. Um, now, however, if you follow the spirit, uh, that, uh, you know, you can overcome this. Uh, now, let's read in another part the, how strong that this flesh is in verse 7 and 8, it said. Because the outlook of the flesh is hostile to God. For it does not submit to the law of God, nor is it, is it able to do so. 
those who are in flesh cannot please God. Now, uh, the flesh, here's the body, the flesh. What, what the flesh wants, uh, the uh, fleshly desire, for example, the flesh, like to make ourselves look good. Uh, we like to decorate ourselves. We like to make ourselves a little bit bigger. Uh, you know, like myself, uh, I always wanted to have uh, two more inches. And uh, <laughs> how about you? I mean, don't you think it's just about everybody I met? They say, I like about at least two more inches. <laughs> but then, if you have two more inches, then you say, I want to have another two more inches. We, our flesh, wanted to make ourselves look big and look good and gorgeous. And because of that, some people say, oh, I, I have to go to a, a, the best college because I'll look good by going. It's not, many people say, it's not because that's what you want to study. Uh, some people just wanted to go to college for just namesake uh, or just to, you know, make you look good. Or some people say, oh, I have to have a perfect marriage and I have to find a mate to make me look good. So some men look for a very gorgeous woman oh if i get married with her look 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 on me or some women uh uh, uh the same way oh i like to ma uh, marry to the handsome guy because if i marry to him uh, i will look good and then uh they, so every just about uh, every people like to find a perfect mate and because they like to make themselves look good and then some people i like to have a wonderful job i like to have work for uh, very prestige company because I look good and then uh, some people even uh, consider their family is a very prestigious family and then they start to uh, downgrade other family uh, some people even use their uh, racial difference for their sake that hey uh, my race is the best I'm I'm this nation's I'm and then they look at other country and other races or oh, they're uh, uh, you know not good because we're good and because we're, we're prestige we're very uh, uh, profound we're a special club that we belong to and uh, all that is because of fleshly you wanted to make yourself look good um, for that sake even some people buy the car uh, look very good uh, that car make you look good uh, like some people have to have like a house a very expensive sport car and then or oh, some people have to have a very gorgeous house and they make a tons of a loan because of that they like to live it's a very like a fancy house and they when they invite their friends there's some deep inside they say hey I look good don't I I mean they, they they're so proud and um, uh, and then some people uh, decorate themselves with the clothes uh, they like to have a very a bland uh, very prestige uh, 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 attire they have to have and um, all that is really try to make our self look good because our flesh I wanted to make look good and bigger. Um, now, also, that our flesh wanted to do things that feels good for the flesh. Some people eat a lot, and uh, or some people drink, and if some people you know uh, do the uh, uh, smoking, and some people even go into the drug because all that make you feel good. It, it, and then some people. Uh, it's so bound to the sexual desire because the flesh telling you oh that feels good and that is because all the flesh desire is really concentrate is how the flesh feels good and how feel, uh, flesh uh, will look good all that is against God's will and God detests the fleshly desire you have and but however before you become a Christian before the Holy Spirit uh, came down and reside with you uh, that was really the uh, major intention of this world if you look at the world everybody wanted to be look good and they had they, they want to have a number one they are not even best um, but the, that desire itself is uh, really against God's desire and uh, if you live that kind of life, uh, uh, you cannot please God at all. As a fact, as Jesus' uh, Spirit came down to you, you become the temple of Holy Spirit. And let's read that part in uh, verse 9 and 10 in uh, Romans chapter 8, the following verse. You, however, are not in the flesh, but in the Spirit, 
if you uh, if indeed the spirit of God lives in you now if anyone does not have the spirit of Christ this person does not belong to him but if the Christ is in you your body is dead because of sin but the spirit is your life uh, because of righteousness now what it is is here in a very interesting verse uh, it's the verse 9 indicate that spirit of God now is residing with you and also at the same same time the spirit of God is the spirit of Jesus now here is another proof that Jesus is God because the spirit of God is spirit of Jesus right so Jesus is God and also this spirit of God and spirit of Jesus is the Holy Spirit so the Holy Spirit and the God's Spirit and Jesus Spirit is all same things we're talking about and um, now so Jesus and the Holy Spirit and God is uh, it, it, here's another proof of a uh, tr tr uh, Trinity God a uh, triune God but then nevertheless uh, you know here is a very clear indication that when the Holy Spirit when after the day of the Pentecost from that day that uh, if you become a believer uh, the Holy Spirit will come down and going to live with you. The Jesus is going to stay with you, and His Spirit is with you. And uh, because of Jesus live, this, uh, the God is with you. You become, we become, the temple of the Holy Spirit. We become like a temple. Now, um, Old Testament time, uh, God's uh, there was a temple there in Jerusalem. And uh, Old Testament time, there uh, God chose. Israeli uh, 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 to be a, a holy people. The word holy means the set apart, and the reason he did, did that was the 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 he expected the uh, Israel uh, the this chosen people to be holy, and God gave them the law, and they're supposed to follow the law, but then they couldn't follow the law so every time they have to go to the uh, temple and they have to say I'm Chori, I'm Chori, I'm Chori and every time they say I'm Chori they, 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 they sacrifice the uh, uh, animal uh, to the, they, they, they offer the sacrificial animals and they kill the sacrificial animal to offer the God and uh, every time they try to follow the uh, law uh, and they say oh, then I, I, I couldn't follow the law and I'm Chori, I'm Chori and they, they will bring the, the uh, animal again, again, again. And, but the issues are, the point is, by doing that, uh, the other people in the, uh, surrounding their nation, they look at their uh, 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 deed. Uh, they, try to, they try to be holy by obedient to God, but they cancel, they kill the animal, but they, all the things to, to other people, uh, uh, you know, it look holy, look pious, looks looks nice. From that action, God wanted to reveal His holiness, His greatness to the entire people of the world, and that was the reason for the Israel people are uh, called to be uh, selected as a holy people of uh, God's people. Now, uh, now. Uh, because of Jesus went up on the cross, uh, we don't have to bring the sacrificial uh, 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 animal, uh, sacrificial lamb, uh, all the time. Uh, and then now that uh, we don't need that uh, temple in Jerusalem anymore because of Jesus. So when the Holy Spirit came down, and you be, now you become the uh, the Christian become the temple of the Holy Spirit, and each person. Uh, the Christian, each person become a, a priest to serving God for your own body, and then uh, because of uh, uh, we don't have to sacrifice animal anymore. All we have to do is I'm chori, I'm chori, I'm chori. And so the in the Lord's prayer, uh, the we have to continue to say to God, say, Oh Lord, please forgive our sin. Uh, we forgive our debtor, uh, people who are uh, indebted to us, but then uh, uh, please forgive us. And that's a repeat we're supposed to do in the Lord's Prayer, as you know. So that attitude that we pray to God, even though uh, we, our fleshly desire is still there, but we try to live in a holy life by led by the Holy Spirit and our pious deed by praying to God, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, the, the people, other than Christian, when they look at it, uh, that they say, wow, Christian people, they try to follow God, and they try to be holy, and that that entire 
uh, action is looks very pious, looks nice, looks holy. And people go to church for uh, worshiping God, say, I'm jolly, I'm jolly, and then went to the <laughs> went to the <laughs> every worship service to try to follow God, even though they are they're suffering with uh, their uh, uh, fleshly desire. They, they that entire things it looks so uh, pious, so beautiful, so holy. And that is God. So God really used uh, God's expectation in uh, uh, Israeli in the Old Testament. It's exactly the same expectation that He has to the Christian right now. And uh, we are the priests. Each one of us a priest serving God for our own physical body. And then um, we, we are made a temple of God. So the issues are, are you a good uh, a priest? And then there's a God, which is the Holy Spirit, is with you. So our job is to always obedient and follow God and then we worship Him and then we pray to Him. And that is a really the uh, current conditions. And then, uh, you know, because of the Holy Spirit is so powerful that uh, even your corrupted uh, physical body, God can use you. Uh, God can use your physical body for His own glory. Uh, let's read in a verse 11. Moreover, if the spirit of one who raised Jesus from dead uh, uh, lives in you, the one who raised Christ from the dead will also make your mortal bodies alive through the, His spirit who lives in you. So, some part, other part of the Bible say you should glorify God by your uh, physical body. And um, that is exactly only possible uh, if you uh, walk with spirit, if you follow the spirit. And then, uh, that, uh, you know, I mean, you can overcome uh, the fleshly desire. The, now you, you can control the fleshly desire. And uh, let's read in verse 12 and 13. So then, brothers and sisters, we are under obligation not to the flesh, to live according to the flesh, for if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the Spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. So, which means uh, if you walk with Spirit, uh, your fleshly uh, uh, body is now going to be obedient, even. So, that is wonderful. That is a really uh, uh, the process of a sanctification that we become holier and holier and as so we become children of God that is our testimony and we become the testimony uh, 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 of Jesus Christ uh, by as we follow the uh, his spirit and we become a priest and every day we pray and worship God and then try to really follow the holy life even though we ha we have to suffer uh, with but then as doing so we become the uh, witness of Jesus Christ and let's read and we become children of God and let's read in verse 14 for all who are led by the Spirit of God are the sons of God for you did not receive the spirit of slavery leading against to fear but you received the spirit of adoption by whom we cry Abba Father. Now, um, well, the day of Pentecost is a very special day. From that day, the Holy Spirit descended to each one of us and going to reside within us. And uh, if you believe Jesus Christ as your Savior, uh, the Holy Spirit come and you become you you will be baptized by Holy Spirit. But after that. You have, you have you have to fight against your flesh and more and more uh, you walk with the spirit uh, you become more holier and by your pious deed that people realize that uh, you are holy God of children uh, your children of holy God and uh, from that is a really good witness uh, of Jesus Christ and uh, hopefully you are following the uh, your know, walk with the Holy Spirit, and if you're not believing Jesus as your Savior yet, uh, please do so and receive your Holy Spirit. Okay. Well, thank you very much for uh, listening. Shall we pray? Lord, thank you for uh, your message today. And as we believe, it's wonderful 
you came down and live with us and you will never ever going to depart from us from now on and then uh, we are we have eternal life and we're called to be your children lord thank you for this privilege and so us gonna walk with you as we have the fleshly body here uh we do struggle and um, every time we 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 make mistake you already have forgiven us lord thank you for this wonderful wonderful uh privilege and the only things really uh that us all christian to be obedient to you to be a good servant of your lord and thank you for today just we pray amen okay take care have a nice day bye bye